What's good, what's good, and welcome back to Invest in Trade with Jax. Hope you guys are well. Good early afternoon from Accra, Ghana. Maybe you can see I've already got some sun on my face. I arrived yesterday after 33 hours of traveling, so I was super tired. Took some time to rest, and then I had a hot date last night, so that was fun. But I'm here now, we're gonna get back to work. Um, if you wanna stay up to date with my travels, if you wanna see my Airbnb, it's all on my Instagram. I will be posting IG stories as well, as some Instagram reels while I'm here in Ghana. So if you wanna check that out, you can follow me on IG. Hope you're well, guys. Let's get into Bitcoin. We're sitting at 41,124. We're gonna look at Bitcoin, the DXY, and a couple other things here. Uh, we're sitting at a market cap of 783 million. If there's too much echo with the mic here, there might be. I'm gonna try to bring it closer to my face, but we'll see how this one goes. And a 24 hour volume of 29.59 billion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to crypto.com, you can sign up to the world's fastest growing crypto app. And you can grab one of their incredible Visa cards for cash back in crypto, free Spotify, Netflix, Prime, Travel Centers, depending on the level of card that you have. $25 just for signing up through my referral. So Bitcoin prices dragged down by geopolitical tensions, Ukraine nuke plant fire. Now, remember, guys, take this news with a grain of salt. <laughs> Anytime the market is going down, there's negative news. Anytime the market is going up, there's positive news, right? So just take it with a grain of salt. So Bitcoin prices plummeted on Thursday as global geopolitical tensions escalated to unprecedented levels. On Thursday, there was no argument. There was no agreement reached to end the war during the second round of negotiations between Russia and Ukraine officials. In response to the impasse, markets were jittery, which pushed prices of conventional safe haven assets up, such as gold and the US dollar, which we'll get into. Before the Russian invasion, Bitcoin moved in a manner comparable to that of other risky assets, such as technical stocks, technology stocks. Investors anticipate that United States Federal Reserve will begin raising interest rates in response to the rising inflation in the near future money is being transferred from riskier assets like bitcoin so we're going to pop into the analysis and look at the dxy as well so we're here on the four hour time frame guys you can see we trended towards overbought came up to that major level of resistance of 44k we had a bearish divergence on the one hour you can see we're creating higher highs lower highs guys early indicator that you are going to see a move back down so we'll pop, but we are, look at that, we're quite oversold on the one hour, so I would expect to see a nice little bounce relatively soon here. We can see on the four hour as well, we're coming down towards oversold as well as the money flow is coming back down towards the bottom section. This is quite a strong level of support coming in at about 40.8K. Support right here, that was a major level of resistance. Support here as well. So let's hope Bitcoin can hold that level. If it doesn't, guys, your next strong level of support is coming in at about 39.5 and then all the way back down here about 38.3K. If we pop over to the daily time frame, we were talking about that beautiful double bottom. We did get rejected here. There's another pattern at play that we may start creating, which would be an absolutely stupendous ascending triangle. So if we were to come all the way back down and then bounce, we could come up, hit resistance, come down to support, and then break out. And I will give you your technical target. Could take some time here, but you measure the body, take it to your point of breakout, and it would take Bitcoin all the way up to about 56K, that's the major level of resistance we've been covering in between 55 and 60K. If we are going to see that dead cat bounce scenario, if we were to break down guys, depending on your point of breakout, could take you back down to about 30.5K. We are back down to the bottom section on the money flow here. So just keep an eye on this ascending triangle. However, guys, if we look at the DXY, we are quite overbought. We did break through the golden ratio, which is bearish for Bitcoin because we hold the golden ratio as support for the DXY why higher likelihood you come back up to where you started but we are quite overbought not only on the daily time frame guys but as well as on the four hour time frame you can see how overbought we are on the four hour and that's usually when you are going to see a move back down as you can see right here move back down right here we saw a little push back down as well so i would expect a little bit of retracement here for the dxy it's next level of resistance coming in at about 99 which is a 0.786 on the FIB. I was hoping we'd see a rejection from the golden ratio and a deeper retracement, but we've broken through. So that's bearish for Bitcoin. As long as the DXY pumps, we see a decline in Bitcoin. And when the DXY is dropping, Bitcoin is increasing, guys. So hopefully we see a little bit of retracement. We are quite overbought. 
So I definitely think that's in the cards, guys. So let's take a look at the Bitcoin long positions. Beautiful, beautiful increase in longs. We are quite overbought and the RSI is accurate, I've found, even on the shorts and long positions. As you can see right here, we're quite overbought. The longs started to take their profits here as well. They started to take their profits. But as of right now, we're still seeing a beautiful increase while the short positions are absolutely getting obliterated. However, they are quite oversold and that is usually when you see the shorts start to increase. As you can see right here, they start to increase here as well they start to increase once again however we have been talking about that fractal that i first saw on blockchain backers channel and he's talking about that dead cat bounce scenario if that were to happen guys we would push all the way back up to 55 to 60k and then begin to roll over so hopefully we can come up and break this neckline and start heading up towards those price targets i do think that's a more probable scenario with this massive increase in long positions since about january 15th we've been covering the longs for over a month now guys and with the short positions continuing to drop here, that is a bullish indication. So that's basically it for BTC. Do watch for a possible ascending triangle. If you see us hold the EMAs here, we could come back up and break this level of resistance. But if we do come all the way back down, look for us to find support about 38.4K. Hopefully we can hold the EMAs here on the daily. We've just come back down to the 20 EMA, push back up, break out, and head up towards that 56, 57K price target. Uh, from this ascending triangle formation. Usually you wanna see three touches on the bottom, but we did see quite a bit of consolidation right here. In the meantime, just watch 40.8K. If that support is lost, guys, your next strong level is coming in about 39.6, and then all the way down here about 38.3, and that lines up here with the support of our ascending triangle coming in at about, yeah, it's coming in at about 38.5K shout out to the discord over 1800 members talking all things crypto posting chart patterns as well as we have the dca trade strategy fully explained the dca charts for the live trades on the channel buy and take profit zones if you're looking to dollar cost average into your altcoin positions or you're simply looking for entries and exits based off fibonacci based off support and resistance it's the price of a coffee guys 350 usd you really can't beat it and I will see you in the next video. If you want to trade with me, sign up to Bybit. $4,100 in bonuses for a limited time. All right, gang. See you in the next one. Peace. Much love.